Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by and spending a couple of minutes of your time with me. You're watching 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs here on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, I'm Matt Senior, founder and CEO of 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs here in Pittsburgh. We are your industry leading elite experts in emergency vehicles. We build them, we upfit them, we build specialty vehicles, lights, sirens, equipment, prisoner transport, graphics, lettering, you name it, we do it. Big or small, we do them all. For your next project, keep us in mind. So, this video is kind of special in my eyes, being that I have in front of us one of what I consider the latest and greatest from wheel and engineering. This right here, folks, is the Strip Light Plus. Now, this one is a special one. This is one that we haven't seen before. Compliments of one of our customers, obviously supplied by him for a special project that we're doing. But let's just take a look at this thing. I mean, this thing is crazy. It's pretty long, um, but it's really thin. I mean, it's basically the T-ion base. This is the Strip Light Plus sequencing version. So this is the model PSSEQA. CR. This is an all amber light. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you some of the awesome features of this thing. So, this features 18 LEDs. There's nine on either side in groups of three. And you'll understand why here once I fire this thing up. So, we have a five wire pigtail you have your ground you have your warning you have your other two features and then your pattern change so what I want to do now is I just want to fire this thing up and then talk about it a little bit because I definitely want you guys to see this thing in action all right folks so we have this thing firing up and as i explained to you already this thing is all amber and we are working with 18 leds nine on either side now we are in warning mode which there are quite a few patterns and we'll go through them now Anybody notice uh, the patterns being familiar? Have you guys figured it out yet? Have you guys figured out why these patterns look pretty similar? Or look familiar, I should say?
Okay, so I'll just get to the point here. So this version of the Strip Light Plus and the reason why these patterns look familiar is because it's the same patterns on the wheel and traffic advisors. So what we have here is basically a mini version of Whelan's traffic advisors. Now I don't know if you're excited about that, but I sure as heck am. Now, the only thing with this is the warning overrides the TA function, which I don't necessarily understand, but that's the way they have it set up. This is their sequencing version of the Strip Light Plus. I'm gonna tell you what, I think this thing is amazing and I'll tell you why. Because this gives us, at least, the option to have a mini traffic advisor. So for, for example, um, <clears throat> the golf carts that we build for medics in the EMS services, um, for uh, UTVs, for the golf carts that we do for just the fire department's um, presence at functions and, and you know stuff like that. These are gonna be great. Now the only thing uh, about these is you cannot synchronize multiples. So, um, for example, our customer had the idea of doing two of these synchronized together and having like a synchronized split TA. Um, and at the moment, you can't do that. They don't offer that function. I'm sure at some point in time, they may. I guess we'll have to see what happens. But boy do I love this. So you have a left arrow, you have a right arrow, and of course when you trigger them both together you get your center out. A couple different patterns to choose from.
Yeah, it's the only thing I'm not sure about is the fact that the warning overrides the TA function. I think it should be the opposite. But that's the way they have the priority set up here. I absolutely dig it. I think it's an amazingly great idea. I can definitely see us utilizing this for many, many of our smaller builds. I mean, even for a fire rescue boat or uh, fire rescue UTV, I think these things are absolutely amazing. This is the first look I've gotten at them, so I'm not sure how many people even know they're around. I'm not real sure how hard they are to get, but there you have it. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more content like it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We really appreciate it and it lets us know that we're doing something right. If you have a comment, a question, a concern, a request, anything of the sorts, put it down below. We love to engage with all of you. If you have not subscribed already, I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna do so. Click that bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. Be kind to one another out there. It's a must. Kindness goes a long way. Even if you encounter somebody having a bad day that's maybe not so nice, not so respectful, just kill them with kindness. Trust me, it'll turn them around eventually. It's what our world needs right now. Until next time, folks, be safe out there.